One sec. Cool. Good to go. How's everyone's weekend? It's full size English oval table, yeah. A lot smaller than uh, if you're from the US, it's going to be a lot smaller than any table you're used to. But it's seven foot by four foot. Okay. I'll get the scoreboards out in a stack and do some clearances. Q worth 180. Uh, which ultimate pool cue are you talking about? No, it's 100. And, I think you get it for 114 with my discount. the case um yeah i'd say it is if you're getting the case then yeah i personally think it's worth that but it's worth you know it's only worth that to someone who likes that kind of thing you know so i would if you need a case i would definitely get one with it because you'll get a discount on getting the queue and the case at the same time whereas if you just buy a queue and then you buy a case later on you're probably going to spend more money so uh, I'm going to actually do a drill, uh, a drill next, and then um, let's get straight into it. I played a tournament yesterday, and so this is the first time I've played on my table since uh, yesterday morning. And the tables that are this tournament are so much different to mine that I just want to kind of try and get used to my table again. Um, see how long it takes, really. Okay, so probably my favourite drill to work on positional play. So if, if you haven't seen it, it's called the circle drill. What you've got to do is keep the cue ball within the circle. It's more of a, an intermediate slash advanced drill. If you're a beginner, this is probably going to be too difficult. But the objective, don't let the cue ball leave the circle. If you want to make it intermediate level, pot the balls in any order and then finish with the black. If you want to make it more advanced, pot one colour, then the other colour, then the black. But the whole time the cue ball can't leave the circle. Uh, I was in the um, £100 a man competition in Gosport this weekend, just gone. shape here. This is terrible.
restart. Yeah, let's go again. I want to get this one done, and then I'll start. Then I'll start clearing the table. on and off about 33 years. Nearly. Technically, I'm not out of the circle if you think where that red was. <laughs> but I've got a feeling I'm probably not going to finish this. Let's go. Again, if you guys have got any questions, feel free to ask. I'm gonna get the scoreboard out. Give me two seconds. Just need to get the uh, power bank for the scoreboards. Then we're good to go. What tip do I recommend for beginners? To be honest, if you're a beginner, you're probably not going to worry too much about what, what tip you're playing with at the minute. I would say practice playing with a hard tip and a soft tip, soft tip to see what you prefer feel-wise, and then figure out from there. If you've only just started playing cute, like the, the type of tip you're playing with is the least of your worries, I would say. <clears throat> All right, let's get these going now, then see how many clearances I can get. We'll do a race to 10 as always. What tip do I use? So I use an Elk Master Pro, which is uh, probably the hardest, one of the hardest tips you can get. I don't like playing with a soft tip uh, on the queue. I, t I tend to lose, I, I kind of compare it to a golfer wearing a glove versus not wearing a glove. So whenever you're, the way that I would describe a soft tip on a cue is if you're playing, I don't know if anyone plays golf, I know I do, so this is the only comparison I, I know. But anyone who plays golf, most golfers take their glove off when they're putting to be able to feel the shot a lot more. So I would describe hitting a ball, a cue ball with a soft tip like wearing a glove and hitting it with a hard tip like not wearing a glove. You just get more feel and I play better when I can feel the shot more. Probably doesn't make any sense, but hopefully it does to anyone who knows that kind of thing. 
<clears throat> All right, let's go. Hey, okay, drive rate to start. Right, what color you would go for in the chat? Would you go reds or yellows? And then I'll let you know what I would go and why. So remember, first thing to look at is the problem balls. Don't look at the easy balls. There's three very easy reds down the end. There's also two very easy reds here. One pretty easy red here. This red is really difficult because of where these yellows are. You kind of have to land perfectly on it here, which is difficult to land in this space. Whereas with yellows, doesn't look great. This one, you need to kind of play that and move this one away, I would say. If you can move this one more into the middle and have this as your second shot, the only real problem with yellows is you have to land in this place to be able to make these two in that pocket. But I think because of how difficult this red is versus how difficult it is to land on here for these yellows, I think I'm going to go yellows here. So yeah, the first shot is basically to screw into this yellow to move it and leave myself a shot on that. Wow, no reaction on the white there afterwards. Didn't think it would stop dead there. Not the end of the world, still got a few options. Should be able to go around the back of all these reds. Now give me a shot at it. <laughs> That's so lucky, so lucky. Trying to go through the gap now and land here for these two yellows. All right, so we're in a good position now. Took me a couple of goes to get there, but we're in an okay position. So this will be first, come back for this one, and then hopefully be able to run through for this one. Then leave this one, then leave the black. Something like that, but I'll hopefully leave myself choices. So by choices, I could play that one, I could play that one. So I'd look at both and see which one's got better value, basically. you like going through to hopefully leaving this one or this one here. Such a bad shot. Should be there and I would have had an easy one, two, three. Got a bit greedy there, didn't need to do that and this is what I was talking about, just trying to get used to my table again. That was such an easy finish as well. Probably won't get an easier one than that today. First one down. That, that clearance was made it 10 times harder than it should have been, but got there in the end. I think that was the value of going yellows there. Had a little bit more margin for error. You can see I wasn't perfect with the positional shots, but I got it. I got it because there was always kind of a backup shot when every time I messed up. So yeah, I did get lucky. You're right. I think with reds, there was probably, if I do the same thing on reds there, I probably don't get lucky in that situation. All right, let's go. So one and O. Oh. How do you hold your cue? Can't really explain it in a live video. Um, you're going to have to watch out for coaching videos, which I'll have in the future. Outdoor tablecloth fast, or just certain cloth color. Outdoor tables are much faster, yeah. All right, again, write down what color you would go for. I don't really think there's a choice though. Yeah, you can write down the color, but I'm, it's probably not gonna be a clearance this one. Give it a go though. I don't think you can go reds. I'll tell you why. This red doesn't go 
Oh, it does. It does go in there. This red's a real problem though, whereas I think this yellow is easily developed with, say, this yellow versus this red being developed by this red. The problem with reds is if you pot all the reds, the black doesn't go anywhere, so it has to be moved at some point. Whereas with yellows, you could argue that you could land, say, here for a pot on this yellow. The black technically doesn't have to be moved, but you probably will from another yellow. So this is probably not going to be a finish, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm going yellows. Oh, that yellow goes there. I kind of want to land on that if I can at some point. All right, so I've got a good ball to break this ball out, but the problem is I really want to keep that ball because it's a good ball to break this one out. So I'm kind of torn here. That yellow does pass though, so I could land on it. We'll see. All right, let's break out. Let's play a breakout shot on this. Hope to leave one of these three reds. Get lucky. Ugh. Too worried about the breakout, just forgot about the pot. I think that was always going to be a difficult clearance, so. All right, one and one. So for anyone who's not seen these lives before, basically what I do is I keep score of every time I miss which is the red number. The blue number is every time I get a finish from the break. And if I miss, I start again. I'll be doing the 45 ball drill at the end of the uh, end of the live. So the piece of plastic is called a brake pad. Link to it is in my TikTok shop. I can find it. Where have I put it? Yeah, it's a brake brake pad. It effectively protects this area from cloth burn. I don't know if you've ever played it on a table that's got loads of white marks all over it. It's because the, when you hit the ball with the cue, you create heat between the tip and the ball, and that heat creates a burn in the cloth. So what that does is stops that from happening. It, you wouldn't use it in a match or in a tournament, but if you want to protect your own table, it's a good idea. And again, the link to it is in my TikTok shop. You get a pack of, I think, either three or five, I want to say. All right. And you don't go in off like that, I promise. Right, so we've got a foul break. Pick up the white. One ball, uh, one shot behind the line. What colour are you going, reds or yellows? Bear in mind, you've only got one free shot. Uh, sorry, you've only got one shot. You don't have a free shot like you would in black ball rules. Yeah, right, reds or yellows, what would you go for in the chat? Remember, don't just look at the easy balls. This is an easy ball, for example. Don't just look at which one's the easiest, look at which one's the hardest, and then go the opposite. I think the hardest ball on the table, the worst ball on the table, is this ball, this red. So that's making me want to go yellows. I could play that yellow onto that yellow, because this, this yellow, if I leave it, doesn't go in here. So you kind of have to play this one early. At the same time, I want to get rid of this one early. So I could play this one, hang on, this one, come back to where I am now, then play that one, then hope to have another shot up there, deal with the last yellows and finish with the black, something like that. I don't love this yellow, but this red I hate. So I'm gonna go, is it smart to go yellows? <laughs> Yeah, I'll just go yellow, so I've just been faffing, so let's go. Not a good shot. Give me a shot on it. All over the place at the minute. So now we're in a position where we've got a chance at a finish. I don't love how I'm tight, touch tied to the cushion here, but because getting on, getting onto this ball is not as easy when it's on the cushion. If it was there, it'd be super easy. I just need to come back. Problem with this yellow, but I knew this would be a problem. If I can land here for it, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Right, uh, quick, quick thinking. Let's just try and screw back as much as I can. Oh, 
always going to be out of control there with where the white was on the cushion. God, I should have looked at this. I'm going to play that up there. Should have seen that. Should have seen it. Right, let's go. One good shot. Doesn't matter. All right, let's go. One and two. Oh, because I got jammed on the cush. All right. Still not quite at the races yet, but only three frames in. One clearance, two missed clearances. Let's get a nice, easy clearance, build that confidence up. Again, if you guys got any questions, feel free to ask. <laughs> yeah, it definitely does, to be fair. <laughs> Slightly better break. Don't like that. Can't really go. Can I go yellows? Again, look for the worst ball on the table. Arguably this red. But reds are generally better because of this situation, although you could play that yellow long. Problem with yellows is this is your first ball. How confident are you potting that into there? Not really at the minute. Based on where the cue ball is, so I've got to go reds for that reason. Again, both are very difficult. Try and hit that first shot, maybe. Just try and go into it. <sighs> hit it, just didn't go the way I wanted it to. That red doesn't go past that yellow. God, this is a nightmare. I'd be taking cover now if I was in a match. <laughs> I'll be covering pockets. Let my opponent do the work. One really good shot and this could open everything up. Can't really do anything with that. This is the problem. Anyway, oh, come on. I'm not getting frustrated just yet. I just need a better split. I need one break that goes really well so I've got a nice, easy finish. And it's been the story of the last couple of lives. Like the first few frames have been difficult and it's got a onto a little bit of a roll once I've found a bit of a rhythm. So I'm confident I'll run three frames back to back. The goal today is to have three clearances back to back. Let's see how it goes. Again, just, just difficult. <laughs> Doable, but difficult. Oh, cheers for that, mate. Appreciate it. Reds are a nightmare. The reds are great. Those five reds, great. Black, great. This red's terrible. <laughs> yellows, the first shot on yellows. Don't think I'd cut that. Is that though? That does go, that's a difficult shot. I've got to go yellow, so I can't, I can't even think about getting back onto this red. Or do I go for that red for the challenge? Let's go for the reds for the challenge. Basically, the goal with reds, land there at the, as the last shot. Play that, screw back to here, play the black. It's probably not going to happen, but we'll see. I already know the shot that's going to get me there. Second to last red will hopefully be this one, which goes there to there. 
something like that. <laughs> it's a very big ask. It might not be that red actually, it might be this red. I don't like doing that way. Mm, we'll see, we'll see, one of those two. Gotta choose which one of those two is gonna be the one that gets me on the black, uh, on this red, sorry. Halfway hotel. Jeez, that's bad. Oh dear. I don't want to even get. I don't want to think about getting it from this. Maybe get to it from that shot. Let's see if I can do that. I'll be queuing over the yellow here, but this is the only angle I could give myself to play topspin to run down table and hope to land basically where the chalk is. I'll put the chalk next to it for reference. So a lot of topspin on this, a little bit of the left hand side as well. See it just skid off. I don't know if you know, noticed that. See it just skid off that, completely killed all the spin. And this is why you don't leave your problem ball until last. Classic example. Let's try that again. It's definitely a shot you can use. Maybe not. It needs to be further over there. But yeah, moral of the story, don't leave your problem ball till last. <clears throat> Any other questions, guys, feel free to ask. Yeah, all good. Just trying to get back into it, really. It was a long tournament yesterday. Um, trying to get used to my table playing after playing on the ones at Gosport. Ah, uh, come on. There's definitely a clear. There's a, a clearance in there somewhere. Come on. Can't be one and ten. Really? Don't want to give me anything easy, eh? No, I think you've got to go reds. Don't see a first yellow that would be beneficial saying that. Could play that one and try and get these two out. I think with the reds, the breakout, the breakout shot on yellows is to land here, play that and move, move into those two. The breakout shot on reds is to land here to play this one in the middle and go into the reds that way. Ideally leaving this ball on the table. So if you hit this front red and you leave the white where that red is, you've got a shot on this. So trying to get to this position without playing this ball beforehand. That's the goal. Gonna pot some balls because I'm not playing well enough at the minute. What the fuck is that? Language. So this is the shot I was trying to leave. Break, break the reds out, and I've got that shot as a backup, but it all went bandy after the first shot, so it is what it is. One and five, same thing happened last week. I was 0 and 5 and I went 8 and 5. Had eight clearances, eight clearances back to back. 
So let's go. Let's just get a decent split. You'll know it because I'll say this is 100% going to be a clearance. I'll give you guys a percentage on uh, the likelihood of a clearance. And I hope, I hope to be able to have a 100% chance for clearance in one of these next couple of breaks. Thirty percent. Thirty percent chance of a clearance, maybe. One of those days. That one of five? I thought it was one of six. Oh. How's it going, Mike? You're right. Thanks for the gift, mate. again. I'm sure there is a chance that I can say it somewhere. Oh, okay, so this is a higher percentage clearance, I would say. If I can make, the hardest thing about this is making the first shot. If I make that, then there's a likelihood of a clearance, but this red I don't love. It's just like maybe if I'd say I'll give myself if I can make the first shot, I'll give myself like a 50% chance of making this. It's all about this first ball. Okay. So the key is to get from here to here. So landing from this one to here. Play that one. Maybe play a big pocket up there. I, was, I, I don't know what I'm doing right now, if I'm honest. Not far enough. off the red but I don't really want to, I want this to go directly in. Alright now, I'd like to go into this yellow if I can. And then it's just screwed up for the black. So again that was always a slightly higher Hang on. It was a slightly higher percentage chance just because all the balls were in a much nicer position than they have been for the last seven frames, basically, or the last six frames before that. Um, 
<clears throat> so yeah, two clearances. Happy with that. I think most players can get a sense for when it's uh, like when they're probably going to clear the table. If you can start to sense that, if you give yourself like a percentage chance of clearing the table, if your percentage is below like 50% in a match, you're probably not going to go for the clearance, unless you're me who just goes for everything. But it's not smart to. If you've got if you've got a 10% chance of a clearance, basically wait until like play safe and let your opponent go for the 10% clearance and then basically win the match when he messes up or she messes up. Two and five. Again, I'd say this is a high percentage chance. The first shot is the issue. I really want to be yellows, but um, it's the first shot on yellows is, is difficult. If I can make it, then it should be a fairly straightforward finish. So I've got the choice. I can either play this yellow into there or try and cut it into there. Just don't know exactly where the cue ball is going to go on each. If I can get this in the corner, go here and go through this gap and leave that, that would be ideal. I've got a feeling I might be hitting the black though and that would be bad, but we'll see. Yeah, I thought, I thought I was going to hit the black. Uh, this is now not an easy one. Probably going to pop the black straight from this shot. I've got to try and cut this, but the black could fly straight into that corner. I'll go off that yellow. Oh, I might be able to go off that yellow, you know. Oh, come on, give me a shot. Just needed that yellow to stay here. Got to play another one now, another get out of jail shot. Now we can suck. Why can't this just get easier? <laughs> Why does it have to be so difficult? <laughs> Problem is, I've got a shot to the middle here, but the cue ball is going to end up behind the black, unless I screw back, and that means putting power on this shot, which means you're probably not going to be able to make it to the middle. Um, but if I end up here, it doesn't go in there. I've got to try and make it. I've got to try and make it and then basically come off of a cushion to pop this last yellow. Can I play a double? Maybe play a double to go into this. Yeah, let's try and double into this middle and try and go into it a little bit. Didn't go into it, which is annoying. Now the last chance is to go between the gap here, but I don't think it fits through there without hitting the jaw and then moving away. It's very tight. No, the red's too close. It might go off the red and in. If I hit cushion first, it might go red and in. Why would you hit it like that? That's all you need to do. Idiot. <laughs> I've completely decelerated on that. Completely decelerated, it's so annoying. All right, anyway, let's crack on. Two and six. <clears throat> what are the chances of me picking your brain briefly after a couple of Blackpool rule set questions? Yeah, go for it, man. What questions have you got? How many face plates have you got? 
I mean, I don't think you can bet on this. No, it's just literally me practicing in my living room for a, for a half an hour, uh, for an hour and a half, mate. I know there's probably a lot of waffling going on with people in TikTok, but I haven't seen the chat, so if you've been saying stuff, just, yeah. Just to know it's uh, all on you. <laughs> Thanks to everyone on TikTok who's actually writing positive stuff. Okay, slightly better split. Give me an easy one. Don't go there. That was looking so good until that red went there. It just went from like a 70% chance of a clearance to like 30, but we'll see. If you play white onto red, pot a yellow, but neither white or red, touch a cushion or go in, is it a foul or just loss of turn? Wait, what, let me read it again. If you play white onto red, this is black ball rules. If you play white onto red, uh, onto red, pot yellow, but neither white touch cushion. Yeah, so if you pot yellow, you have to pot red in, in black ball, otherwise it's a foul. Yeah, the, 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 your ball has to go in. Uh, it's loss of turn in international, it's a foul in black ball. So do I play that one here now? If I can make that, if I can make this shot, the clearance percentage goes up to like 80%, I'd like to think. <laughs> it's all about one good shot. Okay, so did I say 80? I mean, maybe not, not 80. <laughs> cool, that yellow goes in there, which is very handy. I think that might be last shot. So the order will hopefully be one, two, three, four, either five or, or five. Might be changing the pocket for the, for the yellow. I think I'm going to try and land here if I can for that corner. Why would you hit it like that? Why? And go beyond the red. Good shot. It's because I hit it thick that it went beyond the red. But... Anyway, crack on. So any time opponent ball is potted, it's a foul in black ball unless... Yeah. So basically, if you pot your opponent's ball and your ball doesn't go in afterwards, it's, it's two shots, but it's a free shot in black ball because it doesn't carry over, basically. Is 6 8 one, one a good cloth? If you're a beginner, yeah, it's a good cloth. If you're at a higher level, you probably want to go for something a little bit more... Um, a little bit more quality, I guess. All right, what am I doing here? Uh, God, what is it, two and seven? Good stuff. Should have had that clearance. That was an 80% clearance. All right, let's go. Okay, so. The only red I don't like is this one. The yellows I don't like, one, two. So for that reason, probably gonna go reds. 
probably double this or maybe try and get it out first shot from this ball. I think that's what I'm going to do. How's it going, Connie? You right? Let's try and get this red out. Or just miss it. It's all right. I'll come back for that. Not the end of the world. Okay, so it's one, two, three, corner, corner, middle. Figure out these three, maybe leave a double on this. Black goes most likely in this corner. the black out a little bit. If I can get the black out just slightly with this shot, it just it'll probably open up to maybe this pocket as well. well I didn't hit it as hard as I thought, but you can see how just moving it away from the yellows, it now makes it so much easier to pot in here. I don't have to leave the cue ball here for it. When it was here, I had to leave the cue ball here. Now I can leave the cue ball anywhere in this space. So it's just a little bit easier to get to the black. Could try and break this red out now with this shot. Don't think I'm gonna. The angle on this red I don't love. This is the thing. Let's try and get it out. Okay. It's probably the first good shot I've played today. Finally, something went the way I wanted it to. <laughs> All right, we're on three clearances from the break. One sec. Oh wait, so if you pot your own ball, you can legally pot your opponents, yep. And you can also pot the black. If in black ball rules, say black ball rules, this is your finish. Say they're the only two balls left and you're on reds in black ball rules. Your opponent's got down to the black and you're on reds. You can do that for the win. That's a fully legal shot in black ball. That is a foul in international rules, but that is a legal shot in black ball rules. Cheers, mate. Basically, just learn those two rule sets. And make sure you're comfortable with both. Ditch the, ditch the pub rules and pick up one of those two, if not both. How many we got? 85 of you on YouTube, 750 of you on TikTok. Great to see everyone. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, practice is basically the only way to get better. Cheers, Nakun. Third time today. All right, I'll ask you guys again what color would you go for, reds or yellows? Remember, you only got one shot. How would your opponent win in that situation? They probably wouldn't. They'd end up fouling, giving you a free shot, and you just play red onto black, pot it, and then pot the. Uh, no. Yeah, you just do the shot I just did. In that situation, reds are probably going to win. Change the score, you're right. Didn't give myself enough credit. All right, so let's look at this clearance. Probably a 20% chance, I think. Either ball, maybe a little bit higher, 30% chance of a clearance. You're gonna to have to move some balls to finish the clearance off. I hate these two reds and I hate this red. For that reason, we're going yellows. You can't pot this really anywhere. This one's gonna be difficult to land on. These two are terrible. The only bad yellows, these two aren't great. But if you move this yellow, that one goes there, and which means that that one will then go in there and there. This yellow is the worst yellow, I'd say. You've kind of got to land over here for it into there. So, um, don't know what I'm going to do first. I think play this, try and come up to here to play. 
Oh, there's a plant here as well. That might be a plant in the middle. One sec, let me look. Yeah, that's a plant there, sort of. It's an off straight plant, but if you land here, you could play that and maybe screw back to here and then play that in the middle. That goes. So I'm not too worried about these three reds as long as I can land into this space, which I'll try and do from, so if the order's gonna go ideally one, two, to there, that's the key position. Three, which gets me here, then ideally something like four, five, six, or something like that. Anyway. Just a slightly bad angle on this yellow. Am I straight on that? I'll tell you what. Oh, I've made it really bad now. <laughs> that plant doesn't go anymore, so we can forget about that. God, that's bad. Yeah, that's not good. It doesn't go that way either. Oh, so frustrating. I've had it as well. Did not want to hit that yellow. Now it's difficult. I can get out of this space, either hit these yellows or go past them, that yellow still goes into the corner, so that's what I'm trying to do. Might be going straight into them. No. Right, so I can now play that yellow. There's no value in it, but I can play it with topspin and hope to run through to round here if I can. Made that yellow worse, or have I made it potable? No, I've made it bad. It's not a good shot. And now we're hoping for a miracle here. Yeah? Oh, maybe pot it. It maybe goes in that middle. I'm gonna have to double this last though. No, I didn't have enough of it. Annoying because I had that and then had this off the red. Or not. <laughs> okay. What's that? Eight and three. Good stuff. Fouls illegally, pot the black ball, but illegally pot your last opponent's. What? Is it a foul to legally pot the black ball, but illegally pot your opponent's ball with? I don't know the situation you're referring to. A black might have been going top bins recently, but I messed up before then, so I didn't give it a chance, bud. Hope you're all good though, mate. Oh, come on, let's get a clearance. It's been way too long. It's been like two frames. Okay, come on. Got a lot of hope for this. And the one thing I know is that is not gonna happen is the white is not gonna go in this middle pocket. Told ya. <laughs> Gotta go yellows. Got to break this yellow out using this yellow. 10% chance of a clearance, 20% maybe. Too far. Try and play this breakout shot now. If I can move the red, that would be ideal. That just frees up that yellow. And now it becomes like a 40% chance of a clearance. These two reds still aren't nice. Uh, these two yellows, sorry, aren't nice still. Got to play this yellow now. Got to play two difficult yellows. The ideal scenario would be play this, come here, play one of them long, 
The other one probably long as well. Come back to here, play this one last, and then just leave the black for the middle. Very difficult finish though. Does that go middle? I'll tell you what, that goes middle. Not really any benefit to it going middle, but it goes middle. All right, that yellow goes in that corner, so I have to come back for that. I'm going to have to leave a double on this last yellow. So pop this, come through here to leave a double into here, moving down here to leave black. Just don't do that. Anywhere but there. Fuck's sake. So right, I know exactly where this is going. It's right in there. Anywhere but there. Right, that's three and nine. I need to uh need to up it. If I miss again, basically three and ten. I'll remember that and I'll do it again and see if I can beat um, see if I can beat three clearances on the next round basically. It's probably the best break I've hit today, nothing down, but it's probably the best split. With that split, again, just not a mega easy finish. It's the first shot on yellows is this one. I prefer reds in general, but this red is particularly bad. The problem with this red is you can't double it into that middle because of the black. So this is arguably the worst ball on the table. Do I go yellows for that reason? I hate the rest of the yellows, really. All right, one sec, guys, on YouTube. Sorry, guys, they make me verify this live stream for some reason. I think they just want to make sure I'm not one of these people who sleep and get gifted. All right. Uh, all right, let's try and get reds. Can I break that red out with this shot? That will be the ideal, if I can. I think I've got to try. Don't know if I've got the angle for it, but I've got to try and get this red out, otherwise it's a really bad ball. Missed, Missed it. Not gonna get a better opportunity than that. I don't think I can get at it from this ball. I go straight into this yellow, so I can't hit it, break it out with that. I'm gonna have to come back for it. And I'm just missing everything at the minute. Right, I'm carrying on for a sec. Just see if I could have actually made a finish here. That's the angle I would have needed to break this out. Maybe not. All right. Let's go. So that's three and ten. Not great. Not great compared to last week. Last week was much better. Um, okay. Right, I'm going to get five, at least five. That's the goal for this next set. Again, guys, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. The best time to ask questions is when I'm racking up the balls, because that's when I look at the screen. Otherwise, I tend not to be able to see what's going on in the chat. That is just all 
The cue ball could be anywhere else and this would be a very high likelihood of a clearance on reds, but there's no first ball, nothing. The only real, that red doesn't go middle. The only real chance I've got is playing this red into that red, which is super difficult. But don't really have another option, so I've got to go for it. Terrible. I would go as far as to say that was quite unlucky. Decent split, no first ball, which is a nightmare. Okay, let's keep it going. I just want one clearance where I can go right, I'm going there, 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 all seven balls or whatever, straight up to the black and do it. <laughs> That's the goal, the goal, like one of the goals of this live for sure. High likelihood of a finish. High likelihood. I don't love how this falls on a cushion, but otherwise, if I can't make this, then let's figure out the order. God, that red's so close to the cushion. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, so this is hopefully going to be the exact order. Hang on. So I don't want to mess this up. All right, so I'm going to go one, I think. Yeah, one to there. Two to there. Three, and this is the key shot. Probably going to leave myself choices, but I kind of want to go here, there. If I'm in this position, I've got a choice of one, two. I'll probably go one, two, three, four. We'll see. This first shot is the one I'm worried about more than anything. Okay, come on, let's get a perfect clearance here, come on. Okay, so again, let's put a circle down. This is where I'm trying to land, hang on. If I can, there. Not good enough. Not good enough. Like, it's all well and good getting the clearance. I'm actually really annoyed that I didn't do that the way that I wanted to. <laughs> got the finish though, so got to take it. <clears throat> Cheers mate, appreciate that. Thanks so much, we gave the, um, the gifts by the way. Very much appreciate it. I didn't see that, apologies, but thank you very much. Oh, thanks so much, Dob, much appreciate that, mate. To be honest, I was gonna say, Dob, was that you? Because I assumed it was, but that's not good, is it? Drop your chalk, 15 pound piece of chalk down the pocket. <laughs> oh no, actually, no, it didn't roll down. It's just sitting there, so.
Someone go in. Someone go in. Go in, Red. Go in, Red. Again, very high likelihood of a finish. It's just the first ball. With Reds, this Red is not good, but there's probably a more natural pattern to Reds than there is Yellows. This Red gets in the way of all four of these Yellows, in a way. Um, just makes them a little bit awkward. Uh, so I think we've got to go Reds here. Um, it's about making a good first shot on Reds. I'd like to get this one out of the way early, so I might, I'm going to play this one first, come down here for this one second, figure out these five and the exact order from there. Okay. So this is the ball that I need to think about, because it doesn't go in that corner, it has to go in this middle. is where the black is this will be the ideal last ball okay so the order that I want to do if I can this will be the order that I want one two three four Leave, I'm probably going to hit that red, but move it to like there, worst case. That will leave me five, six on this red, and it will be slightly over, seven. Again, that all depends on this first shot and landing here for this red. It's not terrible, but I don't want to be queuing over this red. So now I think the, the plan changes. Yeah, it definitely does. I can't be playing this ball queuing like that. So I'm going to play this now. Come back to probably here, play that. Then that. Then that. Then that. That. I've done it again. That is unbelievable. How do you put yourself back in this position? Oh my word, <laughs> oh dear. all you can do is laugh and then you play a shot like that, it's just so deserved, it's so bad, <laughs> put yourself back in the position, <laughs> oh my word, didn't learn my lesson, <laughs> oh dear. Easily the worst shot I've played in like a month. It's annoying because that should have been a finish, but it is what it is. You carry on. Pretty decent split. I can't go yellows, I don't think, can I? Nah. It's too many balls covering pockets for yellows. Gotta go reds. Figure out something. Obviously, there's one really bad red, which is this one. Um, no idea how I'm gonna get it out, but we'll figure it out. I can get to here and play that into the corner, I can break into that red. Too straight. Uh, running out of options now. I'm not even on it, am I? Jesus. It's going from bad to worse. Right, so I've got to play this red, screw into this red and pot it. What's that leave me? Again, absolutely nothing. Good shot. 
try for a big double, hit this. Don't think I've got the angle for it, but I'll try. Nope. God, this is frustrating, so I feel like I'm playing better than this. I should be playing better than this. Yeah, one of those days. Difference between a break through and playing through. It's not really demoing anything, it's just telling you. Uh, the difference in the cue is more physical, so it's the cue, the tip size is bigger, more robust. Uh, the cue can be light, it can be heavy, depending on the person, the individual, uh, and what they like. Some people like a light break cue, some people like a heavy break cue. Um, what else? It's mainly it, really. It's just a much more robust cue. Because you're playing it with force, whereas you're, you're not ever playing a shot with your playing cue with the same force that you're playing with your break cue. Come on. Trying to get on my nerves a little bit. No, exactly. You don't break. You don't break with your playing cue. Yeah. All right, I think we've got to go reds. This red is the bad red, so I've got to break it out. With what? I don't know. I have no idea how to break that red out. Can't double it. Can't pot it in the middle. Can't really do anything with it. <laughs> Land here to play that. Run through to play that. That means leaving this. I don't know, I'm making it up as I go. I've got an angle on that to go into that. I think. Have I got the right angle? No, of course I haven't. Uh, could go into it from there, can I? Probably not. Don't think I can avoid hitting that red. Uh, it's just always going to be shite. Okay. Might call it a day if I can't get one in the next two. Call it a day on this and just move on to doing drills because this isn't going well at all. Cheers, Josh. I think that's you. Changed your name, but I appreciate it, buddy. Take a drink of water. I probably need to, to be fair. It's frustrating because I came into this feeling really good, playing well yesterday. Just, yeah, it is what it is. I'll put the score up in a sec, but I think that's one and three, is it? Yeah. Just a nice spin. Chance. Not the easiest, but it's better than it has been. Cheers, Tom. Uh, oh, so congested in that area of reds. I want to go yellows, but these two are terrible. Worst two on the table. I'm kind of forced into going reds here. Um, Make that to the middle, I'll be leaving myself a chance. Got a lot of bit of the streets as well. Right, now I've got a chance because I can break this red out with topspin. What? 
actual you know what was that. <laughs> One more frame and I give up on this. It's starting to get really annoyed. That is what it is. No point in doing it if I'm this annoyed at it. <laughs> what time is it anyway? 10.30. I said I'd finish at 10.30, so I might just call it a day in a bit. Sorry the standard hasn't been that good today, guys. Apologies. Just not at the races, but it happens. You're not always going to have a good practice session. It's about taking what you do in that practice session and using it like figure out why things went the way they did and then just try and yeah work from there really <laughs> oh it's comical it's comical All right, let's do something else. If you guys have got any requests, feel free. Let me know if something you want to see. I might do a bit of speed pull just to mix things up. We'll see if that can improve things. Again, apologies, this is the worst I've played on here in about two months, so. 45 ball drill. Honestly, I don't even think I've got the patience for that today. We'll do a speed pull. I'll just basically try and clear the table as fast as possible. I know I said I'd do the 45 ball drill, but if I can't clear the table of 15, of seven balls in the black, I'm never gonna be able to do that. All right, speed clearance, let's go. Any order. Really, I should be starting again if I miss one. Whew. Let's go again. Six red shoot out. Yeah, good shout. Let's do a six red. Six red shoot out. See if I can get on the 20. In fact, I'll tell you what. You guys can time it. I'm not leaving until I get on the 20 seconds. <laughs> to be fair. All right, let's go again. Again, I'm not finishing this until I get under 20. Ridiculous. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Sub twenty. Sub twenty seconds.
Can't even pop up two reds. I need to go to bed. This is a nightmare. But I said I wouldn't leave until I get sub 20. I could literally be here till 1 a.m. I'm not finishing this until I do sub 20. Change the angle, the break, maybe that might help. probably about 17 or 18. So I can stop doing the six red shoot out now. What else now? Let's go do something different. 18.75, that feels like quite long. I thought it was probably closer to 17. It was definitely under 20, put it that way. It did feel about 17, 18 to me. <clears throat> That's all good, Mason. I appreciate you doing it in the first place, mate. All right. Let's do this. Clear the whole table. I'm not allowed to use middle pockets. <laughs> and look at that. Four balls go down the middle pockets. No, from now, I'm not allowed to use middle pockets. I couldn't time that any better. <laughs> so you are allowed to use middles on the break, but that's it. again. The 45 ball challenge, if I start to feel better about myself <laughs> in the next five minutes, put it this way, if I can do this drill, I'll do the 45 ball challenge. How's it going Kenny? Good to see you mate on YouTube. Thanks so much for joining. There are currently 94 of you on YouTube, 914 of you on TikTok. I appreciate everyone tuning in. So again, no middle pockets. It's gonna be very difficult. <laughs> but let's see. to get out. I just don't really have a shot to a corner now. <laughs> it's worth it. Oh no, I have one top left. No, you don't. All right, one more attempt at that. One more attempt. Yeah, you're not allowed to pot into the middle pockets. That's the drill. Clear, clear the table using no middle pockets. Apart from on the break. 
All right, this one's got a higher chance of doing it because there's not really any that have to go into middles. Twice I've done that today. By the way, the black doesn't have to go last. It can go any time. No, idiot. Okay, let's do something different. <clears throat> Alternating red, yellow, clearance. Good shout. Let's do that. So break, go red, yellow, red, yellow, all the way up to the black. the brake pad then. No idea. It's somewhere. Okay, so red, yellow, red, yellow, all the way up to the black. Hit them a little bit harder on this one, trying to split them up, but I didn't want to hit them too hard because I, got my, I can't see my brake pad anywhere. So I took about 20% off that brake. And they get anywhere near as much of a split on them. I don't know where I put it. It's just invisible. You can't see it. to find it.
All right, red, yellow, red, yellow again up to the up to the break. Clear it. I can't play left-handed, Kenny. Otherwise, I would, mate. I'm no no good left-handed. So that's that done, reds, yellows, red yellows. What else? What else did someone else say? Don't think anyone else did. Or did they? If you've got a drill you want me to try or a challenge, write it in the chat on either YouTube or TikTok. It's currently 480 of you are watching on YouTube, 810 of you watching on TikTok. Let me know of a drill or something like that that you want to see. A bank shots or doubles only is impossible, really. Six balls, three shots. Okay, yeah, I'll probably save that for when I haven't got all the balls on the table. Give me a drill that basically isn't, um, that is to do with using 15. How's it going, Wilbur? Good to see you, mate. Black from the break, you can't control that. All reds, then all yellows. Let's do that. Or all yellows, then all reds. So one colour, then the other colour, then the black. I'll go as fast as I can with this. Let's make it a speed pull clearance. Still no brake pad, so I kind of got to take a bit off the brake, but... I'll still give him a fair whack. Start again. Again, all reds, all yellows, black, without putting the white on the brake. Tell you what, I won't chalk either. No chalk. Oh, 
go in. Let's go again. Let's hope for a better split this time. I'll try this one three times. If you can't do it in three, I'll give up, because it's quite difficult. All right, come on. Something go in. <laughs> wow, can't go yellows first. Couldn't get it, could not get it. Right, one more attempt. I just want a break where there isn't like 10 problems, you know? Just one break where everything is in the open. I'll tell you what, this next one, I won't do it as fast as I can. I'll do it slow just to see if I can even do it. Freaking terrible. Need a red. Need a red. Any red. <laughs> oh, this is comical. All right, two. Two for the price of one, then. <laughs> How do you do that when you've just played the shot previously to that? So annoying. Missed the easy one after making a decent first shot on the reds. Faithful throw two years. Nice one, Diego. Keep going with it, mate. Found your Instagram recently. Nice one, Suhail. Appreciate that. How are we doing, R&R? &R? Good to see you, bud. If it's both of you, good to see you. Can only use each pocket once. I've never done that before. All right, Liam on YouTube's just come up with one. I've got to clear the table. Let me try and get this right. Clear the table. If I put a ball into a pocket, that that pocket, I can't use that pocket again until I've used all six and they become available again. That's actually a good one. I like that, Liam. I'll I'll, use, I'll do that one right now. Never heard of that, and I, uh, I think it's going to be very difficult, but I'll give it a go. Let's see, let's see how it goes. Any ball, any order, and the break doesn't count, so like these two pockets are still in order. So, uh, well, I, I was going to say it was looking easy, but now I can't really put anything into there or there. <laughs> 
Okay, this is tricky. This is going to be very tricky, especially with this break. I can only pop into that corner once. Get a yellow up there. Do something else. Right, I've got to think about this. So one pocket is down. I'm trying to leave a double to get that out of the way. Two. So I've got one, two, three, four still available. So now I've got one, two, three still available. Get a bounce, get a bounce. All right, so the two corners, this one and that one, are the only two I can use for now. this, all of the pockets come open again. I'll leave the black till last. So I've got every pocket I can play into now. One. What have I used? Did I just put into there? No. Yeah, no, that was the first one. left. Okay, so what have I got left here? I've got one, two, three, four. Oh wow. How am I going to do that? Two, three, four. I didn't really think this through. <laughs> this is tough. Leave me the middle, leave me the middle. What have I got after this? That has to go down there. This has to be doubled. This has to be doubled into this corner. Well, I could try and put the black there, but no, I said I'd leave the black. Oh, it was close. It was close. Got nearly got there. I like that one. Thanks a lot, Liam. Appreciate you. Appreciate that, mate. Treble. Cue ball. But the standard by us all isn't great. What's your speed pool challenge? What is the challenge? I'll see if I can beat 121. Is it just any ball, any order? Any, any ball, any order, is that it? And if you miss, do you get do you carry on or do you have to start again if you miss? Because I'll try and beat your guys' record now. And then you can set it as the new record at work. Sorry, it's not Liam, it's Luke, my bad. Or was it Liam? Can't think if I saw Liam at earlier who set a challenge. Alright. Here's what you gotta do though. If I get this, Luke, if you're following me on YouTube, if I beat this, you gotta send me a photo of me at the top of your work leaderboard. <laughs> Send me a photo of me at the top of your work leaderboard. Sorry, I thought I saw Liam earlier. I don't know if there was a Liam or if it was yourself. If I beat it. So I've got to basically get under 81 seconds. Okay. And the photo, you send me the photo through on Instagram. And again, the link to my Instagram is in my YouTube bio. All right, let's do it.
Get that on your leaderboard. <coughs> I'm pretty sure that was on the 60 second. <laughs> Fifty-three eleven. Stick that on your leaderboard, mate. <laughs> there is a Liam here. I told you there was a Liam. <laughs> Wait, did anyone else time that? Because it wasn't thirty-six seconds. I think fifty-three is about right. Luke, if you want to see a fa you're on YouTube. If you want to see a faster clearance than that, my fastest I've ever done is forty-one seconds. I've posted that as a short on YouTube. It's my most viewed ever, sh most ever viewed short. I did it in 41.2 seconds or something like that. And I think I potted like four or five balls on the break. Whereas I don't think I potted a ball on the break just now. So I'm happy with that time. But yeah, stick me on that leaderboard and get a photo and send it me on Instagram, bud. <laughs> I appreciate your timing it, Mason. Thanks so much. 53.11 was the time, to be precise. 41.17, nice. I appreciate that. All right, anything else? At least I feel better now about the live in general because the standard was just terrible today. Makes me feel a little better though. Cheers, Luke. Appreciate it, mate. Look forward to your Instagram message. <laughs> and a sub from yourself. If you haven't subbed on YouTube, there's currently 230 of you on YouTube. Would really appreciate it if you could sub. Trying to build my YouTube channel. Plenty of live stream matches and practice sessions. I'll probably be live tomorrow in a match, so be sure to... Uh, be sure to tune in for that. All right, let's see if I can clear up as much of the table as I can without putting my hand on the table. So I have to bridge with my hand in the air, apart from the break. Any order. Ooh. All right, one miss. I'm allowed three misses. This is not going to be an easy finish. that. Oh, that's terrible. Got a double miss yellow. Oh, I thought I had that. Thought I had it. That's two misses. Right, I'm going to try and double this yellow. It's going in there. I think. Yeah, let's try and double it to the middle. Oh, bad shot. All right. Anyway, any other challenges you guys want to see? Let me know. What league do what my team play in? We just play in the Southampton Regional League Premier Division. But we, I just play in leagues for fun. I don't really play seriously. 45 ball drills being called out. Might have to do it at the very end. Problem with any double clear doubles or banks, it's just very difficult to do, so it often doesn't happen. Opposite hand, I can't. <laughs> I'll show you what I'm like with my opposite hand. I'll, I'll try and clear up as much as I can, but it's not gonna go well. So I'll just do as many, many balls as I can left-handed. 
that doesn't include the brake, because I can't brake left handed. See what I mean? This is the easy one. Sorry. Right, one more miss, which is going to be right now, I think, because I can't put any of these left handed, surely. No chance. Right, that'll do. That gives me backache doing that because I'm so not used to it. <laughs> My body doesn't bend that way. <laughs> right, anything else? Tough table challenge. Uh, could make something up. I know he does stuff like that. All right, that's a good shout. Someone just now said 20 ball challenge. I'll give you guys who, because the 45 ball drill I'm not going to be able to do. I'm not playing well enough. So, I'll make, if you want an easier version of this, but still quite challenging, get 28 balls, if you've got that many, make four rows of seven. Spread them out. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's get the mini snooker set out. Okay. So get 28 balls. Let's straighten up these lines a bit. That didn't work. Let's, yeah, let's sort this out because this is currently a mess. Got to spread them out more as well. All right, this might not be perfectly straight, but I'll try and get it as straight as possible. And basically the goal is to pot all 28 balls without touching another ball. And the, the way to make this one harder is you're not allowed to touch a cushion. So you're not allowed to come off of a cushion and back or anything like that. You can't double a ball, can't plant, nothing like that. Does that look straight enough? That looks all right. It's not perfect, but it'll do. 28 balls, no cushion or ball touched.
you can't touch cushion, forgot about that. <laughs> That's a bad shot. That is game over and I think I'll start again. Unless I can pull something out of the bag. Yeah, didn't have enough pace, so I was always gonna hit a red. All right, let's go again. This is quite relaxing, glad to hear. Let's spread them out a little bit. So again, can't touch a cushion, uh, can't plant any balls or bank any balls, can't combo any balls. Yeah, just generally cue ball control. Good way of practicing. The 45 ball drill is just too difficult. So this is like an easier version. Still difficult, but it's much more achievable. Good way of practicing just general cue ball control. Yeah, that'll do. All right, let's go. Morning. If it is morning where you are, morning. It's definitely evening here. It's currently 11.15. I'm gonna probably have to go after this, this attempt. Really just notice the time. Didn't touch, did it? Didn't. It's my last go, it touched, whatever. I'm carrying on. <laughs> it's because it's my last attempt. It did touch that red one, so technically this one doesn't count. <laughs> Too lazy to go around the table. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> um, yeah, I'll probably have to shoot off now, guys. It's a bit late here. It's 11.17 p.m. There's currently 1,100 of you watching on TikTok, 450 of you watching on YouTube. Um, what can I do to finish? What can I do to finish? I'm trying to think. Maybe a couple of trick shots. I really don't want to do any kind of swerves or anything. Um, what can I do? All right, let's do this. Let's take seven reds. See how many reds I can pop moving whilst they're moving. All right, seven reds. Let's see how many we can pop whilst they're moving and the black. I reckon I'm gonna get three. I've got eight balls. I'll throw the red down the table and I've then got to pot it as it's rolling down the table. Or I'll move it down the table and pot it. None. Oh for one. Missing it to the left. Go for three. I told you I'd get less than. Well, if I get three now, it'd be an absolute miracle. Two. Three. Come on, get the black. This is the money ball. I got three. <laughs> Told you I get three. <laughs> All right, that is me done, guys. I've been here a few hours now. Um, I'll be live tomorrow afternoon. I hope to have a match at around two, three p.m. But I'll be practicing regardless, even if I don't have a match. But yeah, be sure to hit that follow button or that sub button. Yeah, definitely, Wilbur. Give me a shout. Um, be sure to hit that sub button on YouTube, that follow button on uh, Instagram. Uh, sorry, on TikTok. In fact, follow my Instagram as well. That's on the link in my bio. Um, yeah, really appreciate everyone who subs and follows. If you've got any questions, last second questions, feel free to ask. I've finished now, Daniel. Wait, it's the last one. The match, I should have a match tomorrow, but I've got to ask the guy first. <laughs> And actually organize it but i hope hopefully he can if he can't then it'll just be a live practice but yeah yeah i've been playing way too long bud been here for ages when's my match next match um hopefully tomorrow oh the time probably about 2 3 p.m uk time something like that uk southampton in the UK. All right, that's me done now. Can you have a shout out? Sure you can. There's your shout out, bird. Any other questions? Cool, all right. Thanks so much guys on TikTok. Much appreciate you guys tuning in. Have a good evening and morning, whatever it is for you, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much guys on YouTube for tuning in. Much appreciate all of you new subscribers. Uh, if you've got any last second questions, feel free to ask. Have a, 350 of you, if you could hit that sub button. Um, I try and make them as these lives as interactive as possible. It's a bit of a mess over here, but you can see I have all of the chat from YouTube here and all of the chat from TikTok here, so I can see what you guys are saying. So if you've ever got any questions, just feel free to ask. Um, but yes, thanks so much, everyone, for tuning in. Again, hit that sub button if you can. Let's see where we're at with subs, actually. Let's see where we're at. Oh, I can't without exiting because I'm filming from my phone. Oh, no, I can. How many am I on? View the channel. I'm on 10.3k. Well, it's 10. Point, um, 
it was 10.1 before the stream. So yeah, 200 of you. Really appreciate that. Give you a shout out. Absolutely, Potato. Thanks so much for tuning in. Anyone else? Any last second questions? All right, perfect. Hit that sub button if you can on your way out, guys. But I will see you guys soon. Have a good one. Speak to you later.